Hey guys, it's Frank from Adventures Outdoors. Um, I'm going to start building a deer blind um, for the camp, so uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me, but uh, with all the vacations and all the stuff going on. But anyway, we're going to give it a go. Hopefully get the platform built today, take it up tomorrow, um, get it set up. So uh, anyway, let's get to it. So this was the almost finished product here. Um, I just wanted to start off by saying I'm not a carpenter. There's probably a million mistakes. I know there's things that I would have done differently. Um, but the reality is if I can do this, I think anybody can do this. Uh, I, I don't really have any carpentry skills or training of any kind. I just kind of winged it. I YouTubed it. I uh, followed Facebook posts um, of people DIY you know, uh, blinds. Um, so if you're afraid that this is a, a big task, it certainly is. But taking it step by step, day by day, um, you can you can do this and you'll watch it just grow and build and um, you'll have yourself a deer blind. So if, again, if I can do it, anybody can do it. If you don't know the little trick about measuring corner to corner to ensure everything is square, you better Google that. That's really an important skill. Uh, something I didn't really know about, so uh, it, it's very helpful. So I've kind of decided to do hangers. Um, mostly because I gotta take all this apart. I think in the field with hangers, um, it'll just be a little bit easier for me to put the joists in because um, all this has got to be taken apart in order to fit in the truck, in order to get to the camp. So um, I think hangers is probably the best way to go about it. Um, so that's anyway, that's the method I'm choosing to do. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. That's what I'm going to do. Hangers, hangers, hangers for everyone. I thought you were freaking out at something. Anyway, I painted the bottom of the uh, plywood. You need to paint the other side, but I wanted to paint the bottom of it so it just lasts a little longer. So this is at the camp now. Uh, all the wood uh, managed to bring it all in in the truck. And uh, this is where we actually started putting it together. Um, thankfully, I had uh, my wife's help. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to do this by myself, I don't think. The, I, it really required two people. Um, and her input was invaluable, so uh, I really do appreciate that. The ticks were crazy here. We had a lot of ticks, man. I'm telling you, I must have pulled off uh, 20 ticks this weekend. Uh, it was crazy. Hence the white socks and the tight clothes. Uh, so uh, I apologize for that. <laughs>
was going to uh, dig holes for the 4x4s and, and put concrete in it as the, as the base for the platform, but I, I don't know. I, I, I went to Cabela's and I bought these elevator brackets. They were 110 bucks. Um, but it makes it a little more portable, and if the ground shifts and I need to kind of jack the thing up a little bit oh, and, and build the dirt underneath, I can do it. So if the, the freeze and thaw, it shifts, this becomes a little more portable, I can, I can, I can move things around. Um, so uh, anyway, this is the, the route that I went. It's, uh, I, you, you could certainly go with 4x4 in concrete. Beer. It's July 23rd. 24th. It's 24th. It's hot as blazes. Uh, we're at the camp putting up the, the deer blind. Um, we had a deer, we were here last night partying, had music going, and then we had deer on the food plot this morning. So that's really promising. Um, so, but anyway, put the deer stand up, stop them for a little break. Well, maybe not, but I'll be here anyway. I can still hold the wooden. Cheers function anyway we won't get the we'll get the we'll get the platform up today and then next trip we'll put the walls on and the roof and finish it up so this is the the big part all right doing a good job frank yeah man here i'll hold your beer hold my beer The groundwork and preparing the ground for the blind is an arduous, unforgiving job, uh, especially in the heat. It, it, it was horrible. It's tree. something that you kind of don't factor in. It, it took us a couple of hours to get everything leveled and the stones right. It, it was a real pain. Oh, that's good. Once we had the ground prepared and the base built, um, it was time to drag it back and and turn it upright. Um, there's no way around it other than just sheer brute force. Uh, we didn't have anything that we could use or there's no tractors or anything like that so uh, we literally just lifted it and dropped it into place. So when she goes just let her go. Actually why don't you step away. Nope. I'm coming with you. I'm in or I'm out. Bad. Once we get the platform up, the time to put the floor down. So uh, it was a matter of carrying in the plywood and uh, start building it. Um, we did spend quite a bit of time actually shifting the platform around back and forth and uh, trying to get it in the right spot. But uh, now we're ready to put the floor on. Doing our thing. I put the, I know this is probably, you know, a lot of people are going to say, that, oh, you shouldn't do that, but I built the entire thing out of uh, deck screws. Um, just easier to have everything screwed together and and be able to unscrew it and fix what you need to. Um, it seemed to work out quite well. Um, everything's holding together perfect.
not really sure what happened to uh, video footage of me building the walls or the roofing joists. I mean, the walls were built down on the ground and um, then hoisted into place. Uh, the front wall was seven foot six, and all the other three walls, the sides and the back, were six six. So this is my work area this Wednesday and Thursday. I took the day off today and tomorrow to try to get some more done on the Wildlife Observatory. <laughs> um, so I decided it was much easier to just bring the uh, cut saw, chop saw here and bring the generator into it rather than me constantly running back and forth to the camp and cutting stuff. So I dragged it all in and this is it. I put a little railing on there. Um, I had to put the railing on the outside because of the way the door swings, the way the door is going to swing. Um, it just allows me to put the railing on a little closer. So it's only six by six. It's a bit deceiving because the, you know, it doesn't look that big, but really for two people sitting here, this is perfect. You've got a place to put your, you know, you could be sitting, person could be sitting here and then you get a place to put knapsacks behind you or stuff and gear. And look at the view over that food plot. I had to get rid of those pallets. But it's a magnificent view. We've seen everything from coyotes, foxes, bobcat, deer, bear. Hence why we call it the Wildlife Observatory, because there's lots of lots of wildlife here. Of course, with all this saw and drilling going on, I'm sure we've driven most of them back into Windsor. <laughs> so, but anyway, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a a great project. We're really enjoying it. So. Uh, Anyway, this is really a lot of fun. All right, I got no choice. I gotta get up on the roof. Oh, baby, I can come back to you. Well, being up on this roof, it sucks. Let me tell you, it royally sucks. But it's done now. I am so glad that it's done. I'm getting the hell off this and hopefully won't have to be back up here for another 10 years. Let's hope this is good. We painted the plywood underneath. We uh, put plastic on it and uh, anyway, that's it. I'm getting down off this and I'm not coming back up for a long time. <laughs>
key. That's the start of Windows. I cut a template out using a piece of cardboard for the windows and then drew it onto the plywood so that I could make my uh, final cuts just following the lines. And uh, that worked out really, really well. Um, the biggest question problem was how high do I make the windows? Uh, we made the bottom edge of the windows 40 inches. Uh, it seemed to be a good height for Joanne and I with the chairs that we had. And uh, we spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out how high we should go because the windows themselves were only 10 inches high. So, uh, you know, there's not a lot of room for error. So uh, we spent quite a bit of time trying to figure it out. Hi, dear. How you feeling there, Frankie? Oh my God, this is amazing. We got three windows installed. We got over the food plot. We've got one here to overlook the pond is over here. I'm going to clear some of this out so we can see what comes into the pond. Uh, but, I mean, this is incredible, this is. Um, yeah, this is quite a thrill. Holy smokes. I can't wait to get using this and finish this. Um, unfortunate part about it is that, of course, I mean, we're in October right now, mid-October. And uh, anyway, hopefully we haven't driven all the deer out of here for a bit. We haven't seen anything in a couple of weeks now that we've, once we started working here on this, the deer kind of spoofed off a little bit, but it's all right. They'll be back. We'll, we'll, we'll get them back. And next year, plant some clover and brassica and things like that in the food plot. That'll certainly attract the deer over here for sure. So uh, I'm not too worried about it. The windows are muddy deer blind windows. Um, I got them at Princess Auto, regularly $140 for a set of four windows, and I got them for just $38 uh, on sale. So needless to say, um, I bought two boxes just in case I decide to build another blind. Uh, the windows are perfect. They're very quiet, and depending on how you install them, you can have them swing up or swing down. I chose to have them swing down. Still have a lot of cleanup to do and we still have some painting to do but for the most part I mean it's done it's quite the spot Windows need to be cleaned, but they just hinge down. I don't know, I might replace those guys. My little homemade window holders. So, it's warm in here though. So I think it'll do the trick. Joy Lynn is painting the back black, trying to hide any Movement. I got some expanding foam going there. Seems to be going wild. 
yeah and that will eventually look out towards the pond this is great Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out the details below in the description. There's lots of information in there and please leave me a comment. Leave me your thoughts. Love to hear from you guys. I always try to reply to everybody's comments. As well, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell to get the notifications when a new video has been uploaded. As well, if you like this video, you'll find more just like it right here. And don't forget to head over to my website by clicking right there. Thanks for watching.